<laughs> Hi, Scorpio. It's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with a reading. All right. I was just kind of singing a song here and the uh, camera came on. I hope you guys are all well. It's going to be a love reading, all right, for you and your person. So uh, please feel free to switch around the characters back and forth, up and down, side to side, round and round. Whatever you want to do, Scorpio. All right. You're the boss here in this reading. All right. Let's see what we have. I feel like you are. You're the boss. Let's see what we got. You're the bomb too, Scorpio. And I'm going to pull some oracle cards, and if you guys want to cross-watch on the readings, I'm really trying to switch up the oracle cards to keep it, you know, a little bit more fun. Let's see what we have for Scorpio and their person. Yeah, Scorpio and their person. And we have healing heart, healing from heartbreak, freedom from a toxic relationship or an addiction, right? So it could definitely be a, a union that you are, you know, healing from, or maybe your person too, but... The addiction thing, it, sometimes it is an addiction, right? Uh, and somebody asked me that the other day. They go, it's just, it, or actually they said that. They go, these third parties are not always about people. No, they're not. Sometimes they are about addictions. Third parties are about people getting involved that have nothing to do with anybody romantically, you know, like family and just friends kind of butting in, right? And let's see what else we have. Addiction, wow, right? Codependent, obsession, possession, controlling, has a block, restraint. You could be dealing with somebody, maybe this is you, Scorpio, but you could be dealing with somebody who like is kind of codependent or they're controlling. Maybe they have some type of a block. Yeah, we have, unfortunately, you know, sometimes uh, people have a block. Sometimes it's a mental block and that's kind of like, like a third party sort of, or it can be like an addiction, like a vice. It, it's just really interesting how that can be. You know, uh, it's like an addiction can also be um, kind of like a confliction within you or an affliction. It's it's just kind of interesting how that is. So let's see. Let's keep going here. Wedding rings. Wow. So we have a healing heart, freedom from a toxic relationship or, or an addiction or healing from heartbreak. And then we also have, right, the card of con somebody who's controlling or codependent, right? <clears throat> Or they have some type of an obsession. Obsession is also seen as an addiction. For sure it is, right? And the Wedding Rings card, this is a completely conflicting card, Scorpio. Union, wedding, married. Unless you're married to this person, you could be uh, eternal love, everlasting promise, and soul connection. So it looks like, uh, it looks uh, to me it looks like there's two relationships here already. Maybe you're healing from this toxic thing and now you have everlasting love with this person okay um but it doesn't it doesn't really look like that we're gonna find out though okay so let's pull some more oracle cards let's keep it fresh this is what we like to do mm -hmm. we keep it fresh. we keep it fresh with vitamins though right yeah we don't keep it fresh with preservatives no because we don't really eat their food that much no kind of like try to do the organic or at least Something that is kind of like non-GMO. <laughs> Let's see, you guys, maybe you don't want to hear the nutrition number. Nutrition 101. You're like, get on with the reading. So these are the Wisdom Chakra Oracle cards. And let's see what we have the with the Wisdom. I feel like they're the Chakra Wisdom Oracle cards. Let's, let's, let's get it clear, right, Denise? Let's see what we got. And Scorpio is <clears throat> my rising sign. <clears throat> so I feel like I can relate to you guys totally. <clears throat> Let's see what we have. The bottom of the deck is vanity. You could be dealing with somebody who has like vanity issues, right? Somebody who thinks they're like kind of all that, right? And maybe they're material materialistic <clears throat> and buying into that kind of. It's kind of interesting vanity because it can mean a few different things, right? But uh, somebody, yeah, who kind of thinks they're all that, right? Like vain. And vanity is a trip because they could be like really into uh, into things that are really not important. Like I said, like materialism. <clears throat> yeah, I always use this kind of analogy. Uh, I once had a partner myself who uh, who's like an earth sign, right? And I remember he was telling me that he was not in any really happy. Uh, it was I don't think he was in an unhappy relationship, but kind of in a kind of in a relationship based on a little bit more on money than than like love and he told me he had like he bought four chairs like he was buying new furniture and each chair was like a thousand bucks and this is a blue collar worker so I'm thinking to myself uh-huh it's all into money and like uh, keeping up appearances and look what I got and 
that's not, uh, whatever you have is maybe not good enough because it's not, you know, the big brand. And, you know, I can't, I can't really deal with too much of those people. I, they're too, it's too fake for me. But wisdom, let's get back to the reading instead of Psychology 101. Uh, I feel like we went to, uh, from Nutrition to 101 to Psychology 101. <laughs> the wisdom card, you guys, uh, I feel like you're using your wisdom. I feel like you are. I feel like you're dealing with somebody here who... Uh, has some vanity issues, they could have addiction issues, whether or not that is sex, uh, drugs, uh, rock and roll, whatever it is. Uh, I feel like nobody says rock and roll these days. Uh, recovery. I feel like you, you could be recovering from the situation, maybe, and using your wisdom. Clearly, with these five uh, cards, there is a, like a union that is either in trouble, maybe it has recovered, <clears throat> maybe it has, maybe this person has gained their wisdom. Because we don't know what tense these cards are in, right? Sometimes there is needing, needing wisdom, needing recovery. Sometimes somebody has already done that, right? Rejection. Wow. Okay. So maybe you are recovering from their rejection and you are gaining wisdom. It could be the other way around. You know, whenever we get, like, rejected, yeah, and everybody has been rejected in their life, right? Everybody in the whole wide world, I don't care how beautiful, slender, intelligent, rich, everybody has been because, because that's how life is. And this is how we learn to, you know, we learn to recover from those, from, from those things. And we learn to be wise, right? We only learn wisdom or gain wisdom when we have to suffer. Yeah, it's just the way it is, the way life, the way life is. Let's go ahead and, uh, and uh, cut the deck and turn off uh, Somebody who is a Sagittarius here, we're going to turn that person off. <laughs> That's funny. We're going to like, because they keep texting, right? It keeps kind of clicking here. We're going to like shut down a Sagittarius. All right, I'm a Sag. So let's see. It's funny. Let's look at the, uh, let's look at the past dynamic between you and your person, uh, Scorpio. And the wounded warrior showing up next to the Three of Cups. You know, looking at the cards, there's some type of a third party here. I feel like there is. Maybe you want to reunite with this person, maybe. Uh, but, I mean, with this card, the first card out, healing from a toxic situation, uh, wedding rings is showing up, though, uh, which is really interesting. There, I feel like there's a third party here. Yeah, I feel like. Or you are, maybe you are um, kind of, you know, reuniting with your person, this person who could have some type of addic an addiction the the uh, the rejection card is here, so um, I feel like you're dealing with you're either rejecting them because of their addiction, or you're recovering from them maybe rejecting you. I just feel like you're dealing with somebody who has like some type of vanity here, and they're materialistic, keeping up with the Joneses type of stuff. Uh, I can't stand that kind of stuff, right? <laughs> and um, yeah, and also they have some type of a block or a restraint, or I feel like a vice or an obsession. Yeah, I feel like obsession, that's what I feel like they're, you're dealing with. You're up against somebody like that. I feel like you could be making a decision, but I feel like this is a past dynamic, right? This is already past, could, could have been just almost yesterday. For me, there is, uh, in the past, there is some type of, uh, I just think there was a third party here, and I feel like you could be worried about what's gonna happen next. Maybe you were worried about what's gonna happen next, the wounded warrior, that could be your person. I feel like that's you, though, just kind of the, the vibe I'm getting in the, in the reading. I feel like you were discerning the matter, right? Kind of analyzing with concern. Yeah, like kind of really looking at it with, you know, of course, with the uh, eyes of concern. And we're going to get a card. The Queen and the King of Swords is here. That could be, it could be, uh, it can be, you know, like a lot of reader card readers try to say this is like some type of divine couple. It could. Um, but sometimes when we see, you know, these two cards, it, this can mean a lot of decision making going on in the past. A lot of an analyst, a, not, a lot of uh, analysis, 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 right? And maybe you were making a decision, maybe they were discerning, etc. This is what I mean by that, okay? There's no like, <clears throat> there's no like clear cut in the uh, in the tarot. I don't think there is because it's always kind of based on the other cards, the situation, the oracle cards come into play, things like that. The tense, right? This is the past tense. And we're going to get a card on the Queen of Swords. Why is that there? It's the first card out for you, Scorpio. 
I feel like you're discerning a matter about somebody from your past or and or somebody from your person's past. I feel like it has to do with somebody from your person's past. I feel like you're pouring out their cup. I feel like you rejected them. You're like, oh, you know what? You need to get to stepping. That could be the case, right? You could be rejecting them because you have gained wisdom in the past. You know, whenever the wisdom card shows up, it usually means we have, uh, for me, especially with the nine of wands, I feel like you've been through a round with this person. Yeah, round and round, kind of. Like the nine, the number nine, the wounded warrior, he's already been through uh, potentially nine different situations. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it doesn't have to be that exact number, but they have been through uh, an issue. And he's worried about what's going to happen next. This is in the past. Yeah. Wisdom. I feel like you gained wisdom because you have been round and round with this, you know, whoever you're dealing with who has vices. Maybe it's even a sex addiction, whatever it is. Okay. Yeah. And let's get a card on the King of Swords. Why is he there? Why is he showing up? Mm-hmm. Five of Wands in the reverse, yeah. And this is like, I feel like in the past, you were discerning a matter where you thought somebody was going to maybe maybe leave you for somebody from the, for somebody from their past. I feel like you were like pouring out their cup, as I said. But I feel like it does have to do with a third party or some type of reconciliation with somebody from the past. And you were kind of analyzing whether or not they were going to lay you down or let you go. I feel like that's it. Or whether or not you want to let them go, okay? So don't get mad, you guys, in case uh, somebody said to me one time, I let them go. So, you know, this is these are generals, and you can see the action, but you can't always tell who's doing what. Now, sometimes you can tell. Like in the extended videos, you know, we, we get really deep. Yeah, we get really, we get really low down about them, Scorpio. Okay, we're good at that stuff. <laughs> I feel like we are. Knight of Swords and... Uh, yeah, so the, the King of Swords is analyzing in the past about, I feel like you could have been analyzing a situation if you were going to let them go and cut them out or vice versa, okay? Yeah, let's keep it Let's keep it like that. It's easier to explain vice versa instead of this could be yours and all that stuff, right? <laughs> if you guys watch readings, you've heard it a million times, right? So in the current dynamic is the... No, is the Empress and the King of Pentacles, the Four of Wands. There's a union here. There's a, definitely a union in the current dynamic. Uh, maybe it's ending because healing heart, this is some type of a recovery. Say recovery, relationship from a toxic uh, freedom, from a toxic union. And we have the Queen of Cups in the reverse. That's you, Scorpio. So you're showing up in the reverse. And for me, that is saying that you are the one who is like kind of uh, leaving them, walking away because they want to be, go be with somebody else or they have vices. Yeah, I feel like they have an empress over here. Yeah, this third party. Uh, they have some type of a third party mistress. I feel like they do. I feel like you've uh, you figured it all out using your wisdom. And I feel like you've been through, I feel like you've been through the mill with this person. Yeah, I feel like you have. Mm -hmm. And I feel like they have some type of a codependent, uh, it could have been a codependent situation with them. Uh, they could have been controlling, too. Really interesting here. But this Wedding Rings card is showing up, and it's, you know, it's the opposite of the Healing Heart card, right? I'd show the, you guys these cards, but they're really tiny and black. You can't really see what they say, or, you know, even the artwork is really small. But, you know, the Healing Heart, and uh, which is like a broken heart, right, from a toxic union, and then Wedding Rings, uh, union, wedding, married, everlasting promise. <clears throat> you could be married to them, but I just feel like they have a third party is my whole point. I feel like you know totally, and this is why you're walking away. I feel like you are walking away. Mm -hmm. So right here in the current dynamic, I feel like they were holding on to somebody. I feel like to your like disadvantage, and <clears throat> this could be saying that they were holding on, and uh, an ending is like imminent. An ending currently is imminent, right? Like an ending is inevitable with this card, right? That is the Four of Pentacles, but, you know, this is the after tarot. So it's really the Four of Pentacles and the death card both, yeah. Like somebody's holding on, but there's still going to be an ending. And you could be dealing with a player, maybe. You could, because we see the card of addiction, and the magician can be like a player, right? We know that players are addicted. Yeah, they're addicted to attention, right? And some of them are addicted to sex, right? So it could be could be that. 
And let's look at the near future. Ace of Wands, Page of Swords, the Strength card, and the Star card. I feel like this is you. Uh, I feel like you are what you are doing, uh, Scorpio. This could be them. But I feel like you're trying to have courage here. And you're trying to figure out if they are actually going to go heal it with somebody else. Yeah, I feel like you are trying to figure that out. Okay. And for some of you guys, the whole reading could be vice versa. Okay. As I said. Okay, you guys. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to go over to Vimeo, Scorpio. We're going to talk all about your person. So we're going to really let you know uh, what they're doing, right? Like down to the, almost down to the T, okay? <laughs> but uh, we, <laughs> we're going to talk about how they really feel about you, what's on their mind. We really kind of want to pick their brain and know, and right? We want to know what they're thinking. Um, yeah, without like, uh, yeah, we want to know what they're thinking. And we also want to know what they're hiding, what they're fearing, and what they really want, all right? We're also going to talk about the challenge and maybe give you a leg up on that. All the extended readings are super affordable. Yeah, they are. You can cross-watch them. If you guys uh, got a message, please give uh, please give a thumbs up. And don't, don't forget, or remember, please, to uh, share and subscribe. Hit the little bell if you want to know when I'm uploading my content. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching. And keep safe, all right? You take a lot of vitamin C and selenium. You're never going to get this, all right? I promise you. Thank you so much, you guys.